Hello, what we're going to do today is explain how to calibrate an ACG plus. The equipment, we, the calibration gas we need is we need zero gas calibration, which this the constituents of this is 8% O2 and 92% nitrogen. That's your, your zero gas for your initial calibration. Our span gas for the span calibration is this one, which is 18 ppm isobutylene, 18 ppm carbon monoxide, 900 ppm carbon dioxide, 20.9% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. That's the gas mixes that you require. That we can adjust the gas mixes you need if you can't get these exact concentrations. What you also need is we need a Regulator, calibration gas regulator. This this reduces the flow from the calibration gas into the ACG unit to half a litre per minute. Okay, so we need that. We also need our supplied length of PTFE pipe with the Link Tech connector, which allows you to connect it onto the ACG unit right here. Okay, so that's what we need to do. To that's the equipment we need for the calibration, and we'll now progress on to the calibration of the unit via the screens. We are now carrying out a zero or low calibration gas calibration. So we through the menu system. We need to select menu, select calibration, which is the top one. Select low calibration bottle, which is the one we've got on. And we need to check that the calibration concentration, which is on this side, relates to the calibration on our calibration bottle and these are the live calibration the live gas readings that we're carrying at the moment we need to leave the calibration gas running for five minutes to allow all the gas to be purged of the system and we're only testing calibration gas we've left the unit for five minutes now with the calibration with all the low calibration gas running over it and all the readings the live readings have stabilized um, the concentrations are correct so we now begin calibration by pressing this button here. And what we want is all green dots, which shows that we've had a successful calibration. It will now go into a warm up stage until it gets all its readings back live again. And now that is successfully calibrated. And to come out of that calibration menu, we will press the exit button and we go back to our live readings. We're currently connected up to a zero gas calibration. And what we need to do now is we need to swap the regu calibration regulator from the zero gas to the span gas. So what we need to do initially is turn the gas off. Unscrew it anti-clockwise, remove the span, remove the zero gas, and install the span gas. Once we've connected the span gas, we turn it on when we require. We're now calibrating with the span gas. We've had the span gas running over the sensors for five minutes now, and as you can see, the, the readings are stable, so we need to enter the menu, enter the calibration, enter calibration, and this time we're calibrating with a high cal gas bottle. We need to check that the calibration concentrations are the same as what we have on the bottle, and these, as we mentioned before, are our live gas readings. Because we've had it running for five minutes, it's stable, we can now continue with the calibration so we need to press begin calibration and we've got all four green dots and it's gone into its warm up phase which it all appears to be happy and once we've come out of there we've had a successful calibration 
To exit that menu, we now just press exit and we'll go back to the main screens and remove, remove the calibration gas and turn the, turn the unit to the off position.